Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel and in today's episode we are doing something rather short but I just kind of wanted to see if it was possible. So if you've ever watched the second Jurassic Park movie, and it's okay if you haven't, I'm still going to explain it. Um, they've got this like off-road RV thing that's like articulated just like an articulated bus, which I have here. Um, and there's a scene where the back half is dangling off of a cliff. And this is not an RV, this is a bus, which means that the engine is in the back, which means that the heavy bit is actually in the back and the front is the light part. So I just kind of wanted to see if it was possible to recreate that scene with this bus. So here we go, we're just gonna basically back it straight off of a cliff um, and hope that the front is heavy enough to hold it. Alright. Kinda wishing that that would've gone a little bit further. Cause we're not really putting all the weight on the front. Uh, alright, we're gonna- we're gonna take another run at it. Actually, we're gonna- we're gonna cheat a little bit here. We're gonna go right about there. Okay, so we need a little bit more speed going off the cliff there. That's good. That's good there. Alright. <laughs> It actually worked! So the back end is hanging off of the cliff, and the front is actually being held... Well, held, held is an interesting word for this. Uh, is, it's, it's dangling off of the front, and it is actually, for the most part, holding, and I don't even have my differential locked. Um, so basically, the only thing that's holding this is the parking brake. So if I let off the parking brake, oh gosh, yep, it slips right away. So yeah, uh, this bus can recreate the Jurassic Park scene, and if I wanted to make it super realistic, I'd just go to environment and change the time of day to barely visible. That kind of made the bus transparent. I'm not sure really what happened there. There, that's, that's good lighting right there. And uh, there we go. Let me turn on my marker lights, which don't appear to be working. Okay, there we go. You can kind of see it with the hazards. Um, and yeah, that's that's basically what it looks like uh, in the movie. So, uh, successful scene recreation of Jurassic Park The Lost World RV scene in BeamNG Drive. You saw it here first, and I will see you guys in the next one. Don't forget to subscribe.